A South LA neighborhood rocked by a massive explosion. A cache of illegal fireworks explodes as the LAPD prepare for detonation. I'm Marla Tejas here for Christine Devine tonight. And I'm, and I'm Alex Michelson. 16 people hurt, a number of vehicles destroyed. Jessica O oh was there at the scene as that explosion happened. We're preparing for a press conference now. Jessica. Yeah, we are waiting to learn more from LAPD about the details behind this explosion because a lot of people out here tonight still wonder what happened. This was done at the hands of LAPD and the bomb squad, so they are waiting for some answers tonight. As you can see right now, it is still a very active scene out here, but even the windows that were across the street from where this explosion happened have been shattered. Again, a lot of people just with a lot of questions tonight. You know, crews were initially out here seizing 5,000 pounds of illegal fireworks. They hauled those off, but they could not transport eight to 12 uh, pounds of homemade fireworks. Now, those fireworks are put in a special container by the bomb squad, and that's when this happened. And I got to tell you, experiencing that explosion firsthand was extremely frightening, not only because it was so unexpected, but because of the intensity. Uh, we're still hearing ringing in our ears right now because of how loud this was. We actually saw debris from that truck across the street. It shattered a window at a store. It's frightening to think about what could have happened if someone was standing there instead. This explosion not only destroyed the bomb squad's truck, it destroyed all those cars around it with such a force that one car even flipped over. And again, at least 16 people are injured as a result of all this, uh, nine LAPD officers, one ATF officers. We're told six civilians have also been injured and three of them very seriously. Of course, tonight, LAPD has responded saying that they really don't know what happened and that it's still under investigation. They released a statement saying in part that some of those fireworks being stored in our bomb squad trailer was done as a precautionary measure. That raises a lot of questions because that's really not what officials told us was happening at the scene earlier. Now, police did take away 5,000 pounds of illegal fireworks, uh, but police again say that there were some homemade fireworks, just about 8 to 12 pounds, that they really couldn't trust to transport. That's when they decided to perform a rendered safe procedure. That's basically when they detonate safely uh, those fireworks on the scene. Uh, this is not a pr new procedure. It's been done before. We really weren't expecting that loud of an explosion, and no one really saw this coming. I was asleep, and then I just felt like my whole bed like shake. And I woke up, and the first thing I came out, I was like, "Where's my baby? Like, where's my mom? Like, I felt like an earthquake." And she's like, "You felt that?" My mom's like, "You felt that?" And I was like, "Yeah." Is everybody okay? And as soon as we came out, I started like looking around. The whole neighborhood was out. I didn't think it was a firework. It sounded more like an earthquake, you know, because I never felt a, a firework like that. Like it never shakes the whole house. So yeah, it was crazy. And did you? And the scariest part was seeing um, LAPD firefighters hauling away some of these people that were injured in the explosion. They're taking them in ambulances to go get treated at the hospital. Uh, we still have yet to hear from those people, but as you can imagine, it was such a shock for everyone in this community. Uh, the ATF is out here investigating now. Again, we are waiting for officials to give us more details about exactly what happened, but everyone in this neighborhood say that they just want answers, especially after seeing such a horrific explosion happening in this neighborhood. For now, reporting Live in LA, Jessica O, Fox 11 News.